Hi there, I'm Colin. I used to eat out at restaurants a lot. Now, like most people, I'm stuck at home cooking all the time. I think I'm getting better at it. We probably should have waited to do this part until it cooled down. But I've still got a lot to learn. Each episode, I'll pick a dish I've never made before and do my best to create something edible. Is this a cooking show? I'll leave it up to you to decide. Welcome to the new gourmet. So today I'm gonna to be making what is advertised online as the world's best pasta sauce. Colin, you might be saying, surely you've made pasta sauce before at some point in your life. This can't be the first time. And yes, I've taken pasta sauce out of a jar and put it into a pot and added other things to it, but I've never made from scratch pasta sauce, fresh pasta sauce. And I don't think today is gonna to break that streak because most of the stuff and this recipe comes out of cans, but maybe that's how you make pasta sauce, I don't know. So we've got three cans, we got the tomato paste, tomato sauce, and we've got crushed tomatoes, chunky style. We've got a couple cloves of garlic, we've got half a cup of diced onions, and we've got a mix of a variety of things, sugar. I didn't do Italian seasoning because we don't have Italian seasoning, but we do have a bunch of the core ingredients of it, so there's have some fresh basil from our little garden, um, some fresh rosemary that we had. We've got some fennel seed, salt, pepper, and uh, thyme and oregano in there, dried oregano and dried thyme, but the rest of it is actually fresh, which it doesn't call for, so we're trying to freshen up a little bit. Um, and then we've got three quarters of a cup of lean ground beef and one pound of sweet Italian sausage, which I'm gonna slice up quickly, which is the sole, prep work that I'm gonna do because you've already seen me cut onions, you don't need to see that again. All right, I've got my bowl of meat. I'm going to turn the Dutch oven on medium. It doesn't say to add any oil or anything like that, so we won't. So, we're just gonna go ahead and put this in. So we're putting in the sausage, putting in the ground beef, putting in the onions and the garlic. Just gonna try to break this up as much as possible. And it says to cook until browned. No idea how long that is. The most common varieties marketed as Italian sausage in supermarkets are hot, sweet, and mild. The main difference between hot and mild is the addition of hot red pepper flakes to the spice mix. The difference between mild and sweet sausage is the addition of sweet basil. I mean, I feel like should be like roasting tomatoes and doing all this other stuff, and instead it's just buy three cans of shit and throw it in there. Sausage dates back to the fifth century BC when the Roman historian Marco Terenzio Verone described this use of stuffing his meat into the pig intestine together with spices and salt. So I'm gonna modify this a little bit when we're gonna use the water and the fat that's still in there. So now I'm gonna stir in the crushed tomatoes. Stir those in. We'll stir in the tomato paste. Stir that in. Certainly sounds like something. And one can of tomato sauce. Okay, mix in the sugar and the seasoning. Mix that in. All right, it's starting to look like pasta sauce. Reduce heat to low. We're going to cover and we're going to simmer for one and a half hours. So the obvious question is, what pasta am I gonna use? So tonight, we're gonna use some handmade, I don't know if you can see it, Handmade square cheese ravioli from a local uh, place in the Philadelphia Italian market. Even if the sauce isn't particularly Italian, we're gonna go with some Italian pasta. We cooked our cheese ravioli. We made our hour and a half best pasta sauce in the world. And now we're, we put some Pecorino Romano on top, a little bit of grated cheese on there, and now we're ready to taste it. So here we go. Let's see what we got. 
All right, I'm gonna wait until that's cool yeah. enough so I'm not gonna burn the shit out of my mouth. You wanna try? Yes, please. It's okay. better than sauce out of a jar. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> it's got two pounds of meat in it, so that gives it more flavor than I would have anticipated. So there it is, my first time making pasta sauce. Despite my complaints and using ingredients out of cans, it tasted pretty good. It didn't require a ton of work, the instructions were relatively simple to follow, the ingredients were easy to get at the store, and in the end, it was much more complex than something you'd get out of a jar. Everyone's taste in pasta sauce is different, but if you like meat, this one might be worth checking out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go fill my freezer with giant containers of extra sauce. Thanks for watching and see you next time.